Sockeye is awesome. I mean, how could you not like sockeye salmon? The Granham family is a family that I've gotten to know personally over the years. And I go down and I visit their fish camp. I love fishing. I'm part of the Granham family in our fish camp here on the Kasilof, uh, Kenai Peninsula. Anyone that's touched base in this camp for any amount of time, it's a special place. That's what it's really all about, is the relationships that we have. We have a fantastic relationship with Jeff. Keith has a great relationship with them. They communicate all the time, always looking to help each other out. That's a win-win relationship. When the adult salmon spawn in the riverbeds, that juvenile will remain in the river for a year, and then it heads downriver into the ocean. It will spend three to five years in the ocean before it returns back to its river. It's amazing to me that a salmon can swim for thousands of miles in the great Pacific Ocean and have the ability to return back to its original river. And there's lots of obstacles for them to, to be challenged along the way. The river system can only handle so many fish, whether via oxygen and via feed. So we have to have controls ahead of that to regulate the amount of salmon that enter into the streams. Clearly, those are the strongest salmon within that school that make it all the way to the, to the river. And those are the salmon that we want to then reproduce and create more of. Whole Foods Market has global seafood buyers that come up here every year from May through August. We talk to the fishermen, we work with the producers, make sure we're getting the highest quality product we can buy. We're all very conscientious of the quality. You know, quality of fish sells itself. When we launch off the beach to go tend our nets, we're taking ice with us. We pick the fish out of the nets, they're immediately iced in our boats. We land back on the beach, they're transferred into bins, and within 10 minutes, once they've been weighed in, they're right back on ice and an insulated tote. So that right there maintains a high quality for the fish because we're managing our temperature of that fish as soon as it comes out of the water. Traceability, this is a very important thing. Our customers want to know exactly where they're getting their fish. The traceability initiates when we draft the fish ticket, which is here on site at our fish station. When the fish come across the scale and they're weighed and received, then they're documented on a uh, Department of Fish and Wildlife fish ticket. That's the first point of its traceability. It allows us, at Whole Foods, and our customers to understand the complete path of that fish from the time it came from our family's nets until it reaches the fresh case at the Whole Foods store anywhere in the U.S. I love the fish. I love to catch fish. But really, it's just, it's, it's the family and everything that just pulls us together. It's nothing better. At the end of the day, we're all family and, and we're making a living for the family. And that really, over the years, has made us who we are as far as our integrity and our work ethic.